where a drive, there is always polar opposite where we are in this world as human beings on this planet. And what that makes us do is always see someone as separate to us. We're always seeing separation, which makes us, you know, have wars and disagreements and whatever because we see someone as separate and outside of who we are. We don't recognise them as being the same as what we are. So this is very much where we're kind of at as human beings. Um, the most important painting actually isn't here because again it's plastic. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, she should be out somewhere. He, he, her. Um, so the final painting is a painting and it's just called Unity and it's huge and basically it's half masculine, half feminine. It's the it's merged, it's merged into one being. The sun and the moon are in the same place in the sky. They're not at opposite ends of the sky. And it's basically symbolizing when you when you go into a state of meditation, when you go into heightened states of awareness, whether that's through whatever practice you're doing, whether whatever religion you follow, if you don't follow religion, whatever you're doing, if you're praying, if you're building your level of consciousness, you're moving yourself into a unified consciousness, a unity consciousness. So that's basically what the project of paintings is about. It's, it's a journey through experiencing ourselves as we are and moving through levels of consciousness to that that you know state of consciousness. I know there's a lot of you are my friends in here who meditate, you know, that that experience when you, you get to that place and you feel like you're expanding outside of your body, you're no longer contained within it. It's a state of unified consciousness. Um, that's really I just wanted people to kind of feel them in that way. The paintings aren't for sale, which is really weird as an artist. <laughs> And they're not for sale because my, my dream with the work, my, my ultimate goal and my ultimate dream with the work is to have a permanent house for them, ideally a round house where they can be together. And because um, when I've got um, when I've got a space that people can um, sit down and meditate, I'll do meditations on these and we've, we've, we've done that, haven't we? Um, Andrea's taken them to the Global Inspiration Conference and uh, we've done that up in Inverness as well. We did it last year, didn't we, at the Tree of Life? Um, and it's really beautiful to sit in the centre of them when they're in this order and sit and meditate with them. So that is my dream, which is why I'm not letting them go anywhere because I just want people to experience and sit with them and, and meditate with them. Um, yeah, I think that's all I wanted to say. Thank you so much for coming. I know I know some of you, but I don't, I don't know others of you. So please come and speak to me. I'd love to speak to you. And if anyone's got any questions about any 